1967 Corvette Stingray, a Cadillac Beast worth $1.5 million, and a lifestyle that defies his age. Joe Biden's world is more luxurious than you might think. But before you assume it's all about luxury, wait until you hear about the routines and habits that keep him running strong at 80. You might want to sit down for this one. Because what you're about to discover will completely change how you see the President of the United States. The Man Behind the Title Joe Biden was born in 1942 in Scranton, Pennsylvania. His early years were marked by financial struggles after his once wealthy father encountered severe financial difficulties. Despite these challenges, young Joe developed a strong work ethic and a passion for leadership. He also battled a debilitating stutter, which he eventually overcame by practicing speeches in front of a mirror. A testament to his perseverance and determination. Biden's journey into politics began in 1972 when he became one of the youngest people ever elected to the U.S. Senate at the age of 30. But his victory was marred by tragedy when his first wife, Naelia, and their one-year-old daughter, Naomi, were killed in a car accident just weeks after his election. This devastating loss nearly drove Biden to give up his Senate seat, but he decided to stay, driven by the responsibilities of his two surviving sons, Bo and Hunter. Over the next 36 years, Biden's political career took off. As a senator from Delaware, he earned a reputation as a hard-working and dedicated public servant. Known for his ability to reach across the aisle and tackle big issues like foreign policy and criminal justice reform. In fact, people even started calling him Middle Class Joe because of his down-to-earth, relatable nature. Then in 2008, Biden got Barack Obama's invitation to run as his vice presidential candidate. And well, the rest is history. The Obama-Biden ticket won, and Biden served two terms as vice president, from 2009 to 2017. During this time, Biden played a very important role in the administration's policies and issues. Ranging from the economic recovery following the 2008 financial crisis to foreign policy initiatives in Iraq and Afghanistan. After serving as vice president, Biden faced another heartbreaking loss when his eldest son, Bo, died of brain cancer in 2015. This tragedy was a key reason why Biden chose not to run for president in the 2016 election, as he struggled with the grief of losing his son. But in 2020, Biden made a comeback, going head-to-head -head with President Donald Trump to become the 46th President of the United States. And finally, at 78 years of age, he became the oldest person ever to hold the office. The Fitness Routine of an 80-Year-Old President It's no secret that the presidency is one of the most demanding jobs in the world. And for someone in their 80s? Well, that takes a whole lot more than just determination. It takes a lifestyle that's all about staying on top of your game. So how does Joe keep up with the physical and mental demands when most people his age are thinking about kicking back? Well, for starters, he starts off his day with exercise, lifting weights and often working out with a personal trainer. He's also a fan of Peloton, a popular fitness brand, and makes it a point to stay active at least five days a week. But for him, it's not just about looking good, though that's a nice bonus. It's about staying healthy and full of energy, which is pretty essential when you've got the whole country on your shoulders. Physical activity, particularly at Biden's age, has humongous benefits. It helps maintain a healthy body weight, improves physical function, and controls blood pressure. But there's more to it than just physical benefits. Doctors have pointed out that the cardiovascular system plays a crucial role in both muscular and neurological health. So, by staying fit, Biden is also keeping his mind sharp, which is super important when you're making a decision that affects millions of lives. In fact, studies show that exercises focusing on balance, coordination, and aerobic activities like walking or jogging can help keep both the body and mind in peak condition. For Biden, who's constantly in the spotlight and dealing with immense pressure, staying physically and mentally sharp isn't just a good idea, 
It's a must. But Biden's fitness routine isn't just about hitting the gym or going for a run. He also focuses on exercises that improve balance and coordination, which are super important for maintaining independence as we age. These might be simple moves like standing up from a chair slowly, doing lunges, or even push-ups against a wall. And believe it or not, something as basic as balancing on one foot while reading or chatting can work wonders for the connection between your muscles and your brain. Biden's dedication to fitness is also a reflection of his broader philosophy on life. Joe's commitment to fitness is a reflection of how he approaches life. He believes in staying active, engaged, and curious, traits that have clearly helped him handle the pressures of being president at a time when most people are well into their retirement. A simple but balanced diet. When it comes to food, Joe Biden keeps it simple. Or as his wife Jill likes to say, he's a basic eater. But don't let that fool you into thinking he doesn't have a sweet tooth. Biden is absolutely crazy about ice cream. He's even joked, my name is Joe Biden and I love ice cream. And he's not kidding. This guy can out-eat just about anyone when it comes to his favorite frozen treat. It's one of those rare, fun glimpses into a man who's usually got the weight of the world on his shoulders. But Biden's diet isn't all about indulging his sweet cravings. He also makes sure to keep things balanced with simple, nutritious meals. A typical lunch for him might be a hearty soup and a chopped salad with grilled chicken. And when dinner rolls around, he's often enjoying pasta with red sauce. Plus, he stays away from alcohol and smoking. Smart moves that help him stay healthy at his age. And of course, a diet rich in leafy greens, oily fish, and minimal processed foods is key to keeping both the body and mind sharp as we age. And it looks like Biden's got this balance down pat, enjoying his beloved ice cream, but also focusing on the nutrients that keep him going. Biden's approach to food is a great reminder for all of us that staying healthy doesn't mean giving up the things we love. After all, the key to healthy aging isn't just in what we do, but in how we enjoy doing it. This philosophy extends to other areas in Biden's life as well, whether it's his fitness routine, his time with family, or his passion for cars. His diet choices also reflect his no-nonsense approach to life. Biden knows what works for him, and he sticks with it. Whether that's his morning workout or his go-to lunch, this consistency is a big part of why he's still so active and healthy in his 80s. It's a good reminder that living well doesn't have to be complicated. It's about finding what works for you and turning it into a habit. Family First – The Secret to Biden's Mental Well-Being Despite the non-stop demands of being president, Biden makes sure to carve out time for what really matters – his family. He's got some pretty strict boundaries when it comes to his personal time. Like how he never skips dinner with his wife Jill, and always makes sure to pick up the phone when his grandkids call him Pop. Family has always been at the heart of Biden's life. His second wife, Jill Tracy Jacobs, whom he married in 1977, has been his steadfast partner through all the ups and downs of his political journey. Together, they have one daughter, Ashley, and share a close bond with Biden's two sons from his first marriage, Hunter and the late Beau. Biden's deep commitment to family shines through whenever he talks about them. Whether he's sharing stories about his father or reminiscing about his late son Beau, it's clear that family is his anchor, giving him strength and inspiration. Managing stress, staying connected with loved ones, and keeping his mind sharp are all essential parts of Biden's approach to healthy aging. Biden knows that how we spend our time has a huge impact on everything, from how well we perform at work to how happy we are in life. In fact, Biden's strong family ties have been a guiding light through the many challenges he's faced. From the devastating loss of his first wife and daughter to the heartbreaking passing of his son Beau, Biden has endured more than his share of personal tragedy. Yet through it all, he's remained resilient, largely because of the unwavering support of his family. And this focus on family isn't just about his role as a husband and father, it extends to his role as a grandfather too. 
Biden often talks about the joy he finds in spending time with his grandkids and how important it is for him to be there for them. In a world where politics can easily overshadow personal life, Biden's dedication to his family is a powerful reminder that even the most influential people need the love and support of those closest to them. Joe Biden's Passion for Cars If there's one thing Joe Biden loves almost as much as his family, it's cars. Seriously, the man has a serious passion for automobiles, and he's not shy about showing off his impressive collection. One of Biden's most prized possessions is his 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This beauty, a Goodwood Green convertible, was a wedding gift from his father when Joe married his first wife, Naelia. It's a car collector's dream, and Biden often talks about the memories it holds, especially the ones tied to his father and his late son Beau. Depending on its condition, this classic Corvette could easily be worth over $300,000 today. But the Corvette isn't the only car that gets Biden's engine revving. Over the years, he's been spotted in several other vehicles, including a Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport, a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, and a GMC Yukon Denali. The Jeep, with its hybrid motor, is a nod to Biden's commitment to environmental causes, while the Yukon Denali offers the comfort and security you'd expect for someone in his position. There's also talk that Biden might own a Mercedes-Benz 190 SL a sleek convertible that could fetch around $110,000. But when it comes to luxury, nothing beats the Beast, the Cadillac Beast limousine that serves as the official presidential vehicle. This armored car is packed with advanced security features, and while it doesn't technically belong to Biden, it's estimated to cost $1.5 million. But Biden's love for cars is also closely tied to his identity as a middle-class American. Despite his wealth and status, he talks about his cars with the same excitement and enthusiasm as any car lover. It's a reminder that, at heart, he's still the same guy from Scranton, Pennsylvania, who dreamed about cars and road trips. One of the most memorable moments in Biden's public life was when he took Jay Leno for a spin in his beloved Corvette during an episode of Jay Leno's Garage. That was a pretty crazy sight to see, for sure. The Real Estate Portfolio – From Middle-Class Roots to Presidential Mansions As President of the United States, Joe Biden calls the White House home, a place steeped in American history and power. But when he's not in Washington, Biden enjoys the comfort of his own homes, each one telling a different chapter of his life and career. Biden's main residence is in Wilmington, Delaware, a spacious 6,850-square-foot house that he built in the late 90s. This home is packed with personal history. In fact, there was a time in 2010 when Biden considered selling it to cover Bo's cancer treatment costs. But thanks to the then-President Obama's offer to lend him the money, he was able to keep it. Today, this property is valued at around $2 million. In 2017, looking for a place to unwind by the sea, Biden bought a vacation home in Rayaboff Beach, Delaware. This 4,800-square-foot house, with six bedrooms and six bathrooms, is the perfect blend of cozy and luxurious. With its all-wooden floors, large windows letting in natural light, and a balcony offering stunning sea views, it's a place where Biden can truly relax and escape the stresses of his job. He originally purchased it for $2.7 million, but its value has since climbed to an estimated $3.6 million. Even with these impressive properties, Biden has never lost touch with his middle-class roots. Before moving into the White House, he and Jill lived in a rented mansion in McLean, Virginia, shelling out $20,000 a month. The mansion, valued at $4 million, served as a temporary home while Biden geared up for his presidential campaign. But Biden's homes are more than just luxurious places to live. They're filled with memories and connections to his past. They represent his journey from a modest upbringing to becoming the leader of the free world, 
capturing both the challenges he's overcome and the success he's achieved along the way. These properties also highlight Biden's deep belief in the importance of home and family. Each house holds a special place in his heart, whether it's the Wilmington home where he raised his children or the Rayaboth Beach retreat where he and Jill can relax and enjoy each other's company. Dressing the part, Biden's style and attention to appearance. Even at 80, Joe Biden still got that sharp, polished look that doesn't go unnoticed. Whether he's in the spotlight at a public event or just enjoying a quiet moment, Biden's attention to his appearance is crystal clear. Take his inauguration day, for instance. Biden stepped out in a head-to-toe ensemble from the iconic American fashion brand Ralph Lauren. His overcoat, tie, suit, and even his cloth mask were all carefully chosen, creating a look that was both presidential and seriously stylish. While we don't know the exact price tag of his outfit, it's estimated that his wardrobe could easily cost around $10,000. But Biden's style isn't just about the clothes he wears. His collection of watches is pretty impressive too, ranging from the affordable to the luxurious. He's been seen sporting a $100 Seiko, a $500 Apple Watch, and even high-end pieces like a $5,460 Omega Seamaster and a $9,000 Rolex Datejust. Obviously, these watches are way more than just accessories. They reflect Biden's appreciation for fine craftsmanship and his keen eye for detail. And let's not forget that signature Biden smile. Oh, that smile has literally become an iconic part of his image. Rumor has it that Biden's had some dental work done, possibly porcelain veneers, to keep that grin looking its best. With each tooth potentially costing around $2,500, I'd say his smile is definitely a significant investment in his public persona. But here's the thing. For Biden, how you present yourself to the world matters. This attention to detail extends beyond his look to the way Biden interacts with others. He's known for his warm, approachable demeanor, often putting people at ease with a friendly smile or a kind word. The perks of the presidency, flying in style. As President of the United States, Joe Biden has access to one of the most impressive and expensive planes in the world, Air Force One. And this isn't just any old plane, it's a Boeing VC-25 a military version of the Boeing 747, specially customized to cater to the unique needs of the nation's leader. Inside, it's literally got a thousand square feet of space spread across three levels, including a luxurious suite equipped with a large office for the president. And what's even crazier is that the plane can refuel in mid-air meaning Biden can literally fly anywhere in the world without ever needing to touch down. But all this luxury doesn't come cheap. It's estimated that just one hour of flight time on Air Force One costs around $210,000. And if that's not enough, there's a new, even more advanced model on the way with a price tag of $5.3 billion. Biden will be the first president to fly in this new Air Force One, continuing the tradition of luxury and top-notch security that comes with the job. Yet Air Force One isn't just about traveling in style, it's also a critical tool for the president to conduct business while on the move. The plane is packed with state-of-the-art communication systems, allowing Biden to stay connected with his advisors and world leaders no matter where he's headed. This level of connectivity is crucial, especially for a president who needs to be ready to make decisions at a moment's notice. Biden's use of Air Force One also highlights the unique challenges of being president. While most of us can hop on a plane and jet off without much hassle, the president's travel is a highly orchestrated operation involving multiple agencies and personnel. Every trip is planned down to the tiniest detail, with most security and logistics taking center stage. In many ways, Air Force One represents the dual nature of Biden's life as president. 
On one hand, it's a symbol of the immense power and responsibility that comes with the role. On the other, it's a reminder that even surrounded by luxury, Biden's top priority is serving the American people and making decisions that have a global impact. From middle-class Joe to millionaire, Biden's financial journey. Joe Biden has long carried the nickname Middle Class Joe, a title that speaks to his down-to-earth persona and his relatability to the everyday American. But while Biden may have started his career with modest means, his financial situation has certainly taken a big leap over the years. Back when Biden was a senator, he was pulling in a salary of $174,000 a year. Not too shabby, I'd say. That figure jumped to $230,000 annually when he stepped into the role of vice president under Barack Obama. And now, as president, Biden earns $400,000 a year, with additional perks bringing his total compensation to around $500,000 annually. But the thing is, Biden's wealth goes way beyond his government paycheck. One of his biggest moneymakers has been his work as a public speaker. After leaving the White House in 2017, Biden became a hot commodity on the speaking circuit, raking in fees of up to $200,000 per engagement. During this period, he made millions just by sharing his thoughts and experiences. And that's not all. Biden has also struck gold with book deals. Along with his wife Jill, he signed a contract to publish three books for $10 million. His memoirs and other writings have been a hit, adding even more to his financial portfolio. According to financial disclosures, Biden earned more than $17 million between 2016 and 2019. After paying taxes and making significant charitable donations, his net worth is estimated to be around $8 million. And while this might not place him among the richest presidents in history, it's a far cry from his early days as middle-class Joe. But even with his wealth, Biden has stayed true to the values that shaped him. He's known for his generosity, often making substantial donations to charity and using his platform to support causes he believes in. For Biden, success isn't just about what you achieve, it's also about what you give back. His financial success also highlights the opportunities that come from a life in public service. Conclusion So, all in all, Joe Biden's lifestyle is all about mixing hard work with staying true to his roots. From middle-class Joe to millionaire status, he's never lost sight of what really matters – giving back and staying grounded. His journey proves that success isn't just about the money. It's about keeping it real and using your power for good. And hey, if you're curious about how another president likes to spend his cash, check out our video on how Donald Trump spends his billions. Spoiler, it's pretty wild. <laughs>